Do you want to have an element that stays on top of the screen even if you scroll? Then look no further because in this episode we're having a look at the container top bar tag in Bravo Studio. Welcome to AppMonster, my name is Jonas, let's get started. So as you can see we're here in Figma, I've prepared three examples with the top bar tag and one without a top bar tag just to show you the difference. Like the normal container tag, the container top bar tag is also used in a second level frame. So this would be a first level frame where we define our whole screen for the app. And this is the second level frame where you can see this is the exact component that will be overlaid. The frame can be created by using this icon and then dragging it over the element that you want to have. And then you have this frame here and you can just use the tag inside of this. It doesn't have to have a name. You could just use the tag, but a name would make things easier for you. Let's take a look at how this file here would work inside of a phone. So we, when we import it into Bravo Vision, for example, as you've seen in the intro, this would be the first. This is the, the container that stays on top of the text if we scroll. The second example is where we have our container positioned at the bottom. This could be anywhere on the screen. This is just to show you that the container top bar always goes on top. As you can see, the text here is cut a little. So keep that in mind. I would recommend you always have the top bar container like this so you don't cover any of your design. As you can see, we can also use different components here inside the top bar, like for example, this input field. But keep in mind that you are not able to use the flexo tag here. For a quick comparison, you can see that this is the fixed container without using the tag. You can see that we don't have the tag here. This is like a static page. So the top bar is not independent and therefore doesn't move. The last example shows you that like other containers, the top bar container is not transparent. When we take a look at the Figma file, you can see that this is a gradient from this greenish color to a transparent color. But in the app, as you have seen, this turns into white. You can see this is the white overlay where our gradient would be transparent, but it just takes the background color of this container, which in this case is white. Let's recap this episode. The top bar tag is in addition to a normal container, so it's used like any other container as well. This means put it in a second level frame instead of a first level frame and make sure the frame is positioned correctly inside your screen. That means it's touching both of the sides and is also positioned at the top so you don't cover any of your designs that you want to show. You are free to use components and you can even link those. You could use input fields or images, but it's not possible to use the flexor tag. As always, you can find the Figma file of this episode below the video. Feel free to duplicate it if something with your design isn't working properly. If you want to get the most out of Bravo Studio, make sure to subscribe since I'll be releasing new tips and guides regularly. What do you want to see next? If you have any questions, visit the Bravo community on Spectrum or write a comment. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and keep Bravo rising.